What's up guys, it's Alan, and uh, it's been a while, huh? Uh, it's been a while since I've done a vlog like this, and uh, I kind of want to get back into it, but in case you guys are new, uh, my name is Alan, and I'm a cinematographer and DP in Orange County, California, and today, I'm kind of here just making this vlog because, like, I figured why not, because, like, I'm trying to build something, so I might as well show you guys uh, something that I'm trying to build. Um, so today... I'm here at the Steady Studio, which is my friend's recording studio, and Alex has been, you know, really kind enough to let us, like, kind of woodwork and do a lot of building stuff here, so I'm really grateful for that, so make sure to check out his studio, uh, link in the bio. So another one of my friends is also going to join us today, and his name is Luke, uh, Luke DeJoras, and he's also a cinematographer and DP in Orange County, California, and I've had the great pleasure to work with him a lot. I'll put his stuff down below and make sure to go check him out because he's a really cool dude and uh, he does a lot of cool stuff too. You know, one of the things I saw was that he had a really cool AC cart that he built and so when I got the same kind of like cart, I was like, hey man, do you think we could like turn this like $80 cart that I got into like a full-fledged AC cart? And he said, sure, why not? Let's try and build it. So today we're here, we're going to try and build a legit AC cart. Um, I've seen a lot of the other ones on YouTube and they're kind of dated. They're kind of dated like four years back um, and some of them are really wobbly but uh, from what I've seen like Luke's build is pretty sturdy so I'm gonna take some of his build ideas and then kind of incorporate some of my ideas that I thought could use some improvement. So we're gonna go build that thing out the next couple days so let's get to it. Hey Luke. Yo. Did this work? Uh, yeah. Yeah, this will work. Nice. And this is a little bit. It's a big, but I bought a bolt. I brought a bolt cutter. We finished the car! Woo! We finished yeah! So Luke, Judith, and I, we finished the cart in about like two days. This cart, when we built it, it kind of ticked off all the, the things I wanted in a cart. I wanted the cart to be easy to set up, easy to transport, because at the time I was looking at innovative carts and yeah, they were kind of big and really heavy. But this cart, this cart's really great for like the smaller gigs where I don't have to bring such a big cart. Luke's design of the rock and roller cart with the shelves is pretty genius because the way he built the shelves, the top shelves, they kind of sandwich each other so then uh, there's really little to no wobble, which is really great, which is one of the biggest problems with this cart. So I made some minor modifications and adjustments to Luke's already existing revised version of his cart and pretty much I added rosette handlebars because I already had rosette handlebars already so I just used it as the handle so that I could like drag it all over the place. Another thing that I added was screws that allowed me to insert a power strip from the bottom of the cart on the top shelf so then that way I can have all the devices plugged in to one source and then charge everything on the top shelf. So Rock and Roller makes a bunch of accessories and one of the things I picked up was the Rock and Roller cargo rack and that's for storing my tripods and stuff. A nice finishing touch is the Robo Cup just so I can have my drinks with me. Overall I spent around $300 on materials minus the $80 for the cart. So it wasn't too bad in hindsight of things but 
Uh, I did buy it during a time when lumber was very expensive. Time has passed by quite a bit, and I've already had this cart for more than a year, and I'm still using it. And one of the things I really like is it actually fits into my Honda Accord, which is kind of crazy because I couldn't fit an innovative cart into the Honda Accord. But it was also the main reason why I chose Rock and Roller as the cart in the first place to build it on. Overall, I honestly have no regrets, and this thing has been amazing to me. And I've taken it everywhere and everyone's always been so shocked, so... It's kind of pretty cool when I tell people that this thing is custom made. I honestly have to thank Luke for having such an innovative cart design. Any thoughts about like, you know, this cart build? Um, it went pretty well. It's a lot cleaner than the one that I did like eight years ago. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, and obviously it was easier because you guys were helping me out. Yeah. yeah it looks yeah. good. Thanks, yeah, it Luke. Looks so mm -hmm. clean. Good job. Good job, nice guys. Here. This, this, is, oh, oh, yeah. this is you, though. I didn't do yeah. this. Hey, I only thought of it like last night. So. No, that's dope. Do you have yeah. uh, any socials you would like to plug? <laughs> socials. Yeah, <laughs> man. This is um, a video. Yeah, I guess my Instagram is at Luke.Dehoris. At Red Lipstick Stain. For sure. <laughs> yeah, make sure to follow Luke. He's a really great DP. So. <laughs>